You think you are so cool. Damn. You think you are so... Get it, get it. If you could do that, then you're cool. And see, do I already do it all the time. You know what's a makeup hack? You know how they put the finishing spray? A little bottle that's like a billion dollars. You spray hairspray on your face? Mm -hmm. It's a makeup hack. No, man, that's an insane hack. <laughs> Isn't your face sticky? Are you dizzy? No. Your face is sticky, isn't it? No. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Let me touch it. Mm -hmm. Sticky. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, this is a video that's going to show you how to hit all of your goals. Maybe not all of them, but a good percentage of your goals. This is what I do. This is how I have manifested this beautiful mansion slash apartment and how I will continue to get the things that I want because I follow these simple steps. Number one, I'm going number one for you. Actually, I'm gonna give you a second to get a pen, a pencil, and hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. I'll give you a second. There it is. Number one, what are your goals? Now you need your goals, okay? You need to write down your aspirations, your dreams in life. Huh? What do you want to be, huh? You want to be the best taxi cab driver? You want to be a senator? Hmm? You oh you you want to be the the best cowboy in, uh, in Texas? Or you want to make the shiniest belt buckles? Whatever you want to do, you need to make it very clear in your mind what it is that you want to do. Or you want to be the best ice cream lady that there ever was, huh? That what you want? To, or you want to be the fastest shoot shoot lace tire? Is that what you want to do, huh? You got to write it down. You get your goals and then you write them down. Now this right here is my little black book. In this little black book, I write down all my goals and I write down what I'm thankful for. Okay? That's what I do. That's what you're supposed to do. You got to show thanks. I don't know what you believe in. Buddha, Allah, the spaghetti monster, Scientology, I don't know, there's a higher being. You need to be thankful and tell that higher being that you are grateful for the things that you have, but you are still striving for your goals. Number two is kind of like a combo. You need to figure out why you're doing them and then also believe that you can achieve your goals. So, two-parter, why, why do you have these goals? Hmm? Is it for you? Is it because you want to do something for your parents to make them proud? Is it because you want to make the world a better place? Is it because you just want to have all this success for yourself? Are you doing it for your family or your future generations of, of yourself? Whatever it is, man or woman, I'm not judging, but you need to have a reason, a solid reason. Go ahead and write that reason down in the book. Write it down in your book. Your book doesn't have to be black. Mine is because I'm cool. Write it down in your little black book while you're doing it. Make it a good reason. A really good reason. After that, you gotta believe it. <laughs> you gotta believe that you can do it. A lot of people out here going around just lollygagging because they don't believe, they have dreams. Everyone has dreams and aspirations, but no one believes, well not everyone believes that they can, they can do it, you know? On those tough days, when you don't believe you can do it, you're gonna go back to why you're doing it. Why you're doing it. I'm, I'm doing all this for the generations that will come after me, whether or not I have kids. I don't know. Even if I don't, I have nieces. I have nephews. Um, my parents are getting older. I don't want them to work all the time. So what I'm doing is just to gather up money so that I can travel with my family and we can all see the world. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. So on days when I don't want to make a video, when I'm too tired, when I just don't feel like it, when I don't see the growth that I think that I should have, I'll think back to that reason and then that'll put me back on the right track to becoming great. So the two part combo, why are you doing it? Have that solid reason. And then do you believe that you can achieve it? I strongly believe that I can achieve it because people have done it before me and people will do it after me. So there's no reason, as long, I, as, long as I stay consistent, I should be in there.
And that's what I plan on doing. That's what I plan on doing. Okay? As long as I don't get shaky on my morals, then I will be all right. Number three, you got a plan. You got a plan. Now you have your goals. You believe you can do it. You, you've written it down in your book. Now what's next? You got a plan. You can't just hurry up and take action without planning. Okay? How are you going to do it? How are you going to do it? I had a plan in my mind. Okay, I'm going to move out. I'm going to get my own studio. Then it's going to allow me more time to, more time and space and just creative. What is the word I'm looking for? Creative. I mean, more creative space to just, and flexibility to do what I need to do. Now, maybe you want to be a race car driver. Okay, well, you need some lessons. How much are the lessons? You need a job. Get you a job, start saving up, take the lessons, and then figure out how to do it. You have to plan for whatever it is that you want to do. So I work with a casting director, being an actor. I think if you are an actor or an actress, you should definitely get in goods with a casting director. That's another story. But I work with a casting director. And one of the things that I had noticed, you can always tell the people who have a plan and who don't have a plan. The people who don't have a plan kind of just go with the wind. Wherever the wind blows, that's where they're going. People with a plan, they're like, no, I'm going to stay right here. I feel the wind pushing me this way, but my plan says I need to stick right here and this because this plan that I've set up, that I've thought about, that I've written out is going to take me to where I need to go or it's going to take me around close to where I need to go. And if I need to change my plan accordingly, then I would do that. So you need a solid plan for your life whether it be just your personal life, a relationship, uh, your goals, whatever it is, you need a plan, a good plan, a well thought out plan, plan. Now that you have all those, you are going to need to take action. Taking action is, is it's okay to be scared about some things. But don't let that fear hinder you from going out and being great, okay? If you get scared, just really think about it. Why am I scared? A lot of times you're scared because people are just unaware or they get nervous about the unknown. Don't be nervous about that. Or if you are nervous, don't let it stop you. Gather up your nerves, gather your book, your pens, your pencil, your book bag, snacks. I don't know what you give me, your book bag. And you just go out and just be great. Because if you fail, then fine. You're not going to die. You're not gonna die, you'll just learn a lesson. If you fail, you're like, okay, that doesn't work. Try something else because that next thing might work. So you're gonna have to fail. No one's gonna be perfect on their first try. And if they are, who cares? They're not you. So you go out and you look, embrace the failure. Embrace falling flat on your face because now you know, hey, I did it and it was wrong. Or maybe it's not wrong, but it just doesn't fit you. So it might work for somebody else, but it might not fit you. So you figure out something that's gonna fit you and yeah. So embrace the struggle, embrace falling on your face, getting back up, wiping yourself off and then figuring out something new, figuring out a better plan or a plan that is more suited for you. And actually with doing that, you'll, you'll be pretty surprised about what you come up with and your thought process and how your mind works. You'll find out that, that you're smarter and that you have more ambition and more drive than what you actually thought you had. Maybe more than what your parents thought you had or more than what your friends thought you had. Now in doing this, you're also gonna have to weed out the negativity in your life, whether it be family, friends, coworkers, whoever. Be mindful on who you tell your plans to. I don't really tell people my plans because some people, they don't understand it or they don't think it'll work and then they'll pro they'll push their insecurities or they'll project their feelings onto you. And that can be, that can be kind of like problematic only because they don't understand it, but they're not supposed to understand it. The plan is for you. The plan is for you. So as long as you understand it, that's the only thing that matters. So be mindful about who you tell your, your, you know what I'm trying to say. Be mindful on who you tell your goals to. 
it's okay to like let some people go because naturally if you're going after if you if you've done everything you have your goals and you're going after what what you want some people even your friends are they're not going to understand it so they're not going to be on the same level as you that's fine you can love them from afar you're going to have to get find new mentors new people who have already done what you have done or what you're trying to do and just Maybe talk to them and then they may even become your new friends or your new associates or always find people who are doing better than you because they will hanging around them. It'll make you want to do more to get on their level. It'll be a healthy competition. Boom. That's pretty much it. After that, so just daily write down your goals and just really think positively about them. Just write down your goals. They don't have to be like pages like this, but just something quick write down your goals and then think about them and really just feel excited for what's about to come because if you do this and you really really go after it and just just really writing it down because that's going to put it in your your subconscious you're going to start seeing bigger and better opportunities you're going to start noticing things that may maybe have been in front of your face the entire time you just never noticed them because you weren't looking for them but now because you're on this new path of being awesome you will see these opportunities and meet these new people and you will just, before you know it, you'll just be this amazing person doing amazing things. But write it down, think positive about them, never think negatively. Even if you have a bad week, a bad day turns into a bad three days and then that just turns into a bad week of nothing going your way. Just keep going, keep researching what you're trying to do and then you, my friend, my homeboy or homegirl will finally be there. And when you get there, I want you to tell them that I gave you the steps to do it. And I want you to DM me and say, hey, Ryan, I did it. And then I'll say, this is what I'll do. This is what I'm going to do. I'll probably just do it. I mean, unless like I see you face to face. Then I'll give you a high five. May even give you a hug. I don't know. We'll see. That's it for today's video. If you like this advice, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and just comment down below some goals that you might have. I wanna hear your goals. I wanna hear them goals, some good ones. I don't care how outrageous you may think they are. Only positivity in the comments down below. If, you, if you're reading somebody else's, congratulate them. Give them a, a you can do it. Give them a thumbs up, smiley face, something like that. Keep a positive in the comment section. That's it for today's video, and I will see you on another one. Yeah.